I'm loving my pike fishing, that's without question. And I always wait till October the 1st. Some clubs have that as a rule anyway, others don't. But for me, it's something that I always do anyway. Dead baiting means that in the summer, the pike are very active indeed, and they'll take that bait down and swallow it before you get time to strike properly and deal with the, the run that you've got. However, as the water temperature starts to drop, then the pike become less active in that sense. So it, it's a logical season to have anyway, not just a, a season for the sake of it, which some people argue with the course season on rivers fits into that category. Anyway, I'll show you my my setup here because I've just had two fish, one after the other, but unfortunately lost both of them. And I just need to untangle that. There you go. I love fishing with a float. It sits on the water. When the pike picks up the bait, you can see everything that's happening. It starts to tremble, it shakes, it moves, and then it goes and you, you strike. There's a power gum knot. That's important because that will then, I sometimes put a bead between the two of them, but on this occasion, I'm not fishing far out. It's not a big venue, so I can see quite clearly. But I use that, that's important, the power gum knot. You can change it as well, move it up and down. And then I've got a bead and a swivel, just a, a small lead. As I said, that was slightly tangled. There it is, back out again. A small lead there, that takes it down. And then I've got a trace, which is about 18 inches plus long. I always make sure the trace is a, a minimum 18 inches. And fishing with a sprat, it has been a little bit mangled, as you can see there, because I've had a, a couple of fish on. And I am fishing with just the one treble. I make my own traces. I make them myself. So I've got a crimp there, and I twist the line and make sure it's all okay. That's the important thing if you're a novice. Buy your traces. The last thing you want to do is leave hooks in pike. But for a couple of seasons now, I've been fishing with just one single treble. It's kinder to the fish. And although you might lose one or two along the way, actually the first one I lost, the pike, was about eight inches long. And it was actually holding on to the fish as opposed to the the hook and the second one that uh, came off anyway in the fight it wasn't a, a big fish either but as long as you're baiting the water you've always got a chance and as they say third time lucky will that be the case for me this morning we shall see not that I believe in it but most definitely a case of as they say third time lucky nice to get this one on the bank and the hook parted from the fish once I got it into the landing net as well. So a close encounter, but fortunately on the right side of the line this time. A second predator on the bank, caught on a small roach on that occasion. 